FNAF has a lot of hoaxes, so much so to the point where there is a dedicated wiki to them, icebergs made about them, and who can forget that Sparky the Dog was featured in the FNAF movie. Now, I'm sure many of you guys know the most popular hoaxes, with some of those being Sparky, the purple guy animatronic, and so on, but over time, as the years passed, those hoaxes have lost its creepiness. You see, what made some of the earlier hoaxes so disturbing and creepy is the mystery behind them. The looming fear deep within you as you play throughout the many FNAF games, wondering if they could be real and if you could see them at any second while playing. Because let's be honest, many of us have felt that before, but nowadays many of the FNAF hoaxes, old and new, just fall flat compared to how they used to be. And why is that? Well, it's probably because we have hoaxes like this nowadays. I'd be crying if I look like that too, bro. That's fucked up what they be doing about. Well, personally, I think it's mainly for the reasons I just stated, but that's why we're going to be taking a look at some hoaxes which are new, obscure, and so on that give me that feeling I once had as I played FNAF. So if you love FNAF and FNAF hoaxes, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, let's take a look at some of the scariest FNAF hoaxes ever. So we are going to be taking a look at a couple of FNAF hoaxes that I find personally creepy, along with some that I think you will too. And as we go down the list, they get more creepy and scary. Anyways, the first one is Emerald Freddy. Now, Emerald Freddy is one of the newest FNAF hoaxes made at the time of recording, and it's also fairly popular. Emerald Freddy is a hoax made by My Name is a B team on Twitter. This hoax shows off a lime green version of what looks to be Freddy or Golden Freddy due to the positioning. In the screenshot of the animatronic, we see Emerald Freddy sitting in the office Office, but looking around, we also begin to see very weird anomalies throughout the image, with the whole office looking completely different, and even seeing some strange text at the top right. Now, in my opinion, this looks AI, but apparently the creator said it wasn't. But I mean, if it's not, I'd say they did a very good job at giving this image a very uncanny feel to it because it looks like it was AI generated. There is also an image of what Emerald Freddy's jump scare looks like as well, but personally, it looks like something seen in a FNAF animation video rather than the actual FNAF games. But don't worry there is still more to show. There is also a FNAF 2 version of this hoax made by the same user, where we can see a withered version of Emerald Freddy, seen sitting on the right side of the office instead of the left like how Golden Freddy does. The image also has a very weird uncanny feel to it as well, as the AI imagery really shows in this image, but yet again, apparently these weren't made in AI, but I mean, that's just hard to believe because it looks so accurate to how AI would make it. There is also another image of this hoax, with Emerald Freddy standing similarly to how Withered Freddy does in FNAF 2. Now, Emerald Freddy isn't that scary in my opinion, with the bright colors and whatnot, but due to how uncanny the images are, along with how out of place it looks, I'd say it's fairly decent for a new FNAF hoax. But staying in the same game as Emerald Freddy kind of, we move over to the Nightmare Purple Man hoax. Now this isn't really much of a hoax, but rather an image which was made off of a hoax dubbed, as I said, the Nightmare Purple Man. Not to be confused with any hoaxes or fan-made art about the Purple Guy animatronic being in Nightmare form, no, I simply mean just the Purple Guy. This image was originally made by LD Warlock on Reddit, and originally wasn't intended to be a hoax, but instead was just a cool piece of artwork made of Purple Guy. But due to the sharp teeth and weird texture of him, apparently he was turned into a FNAF hoax due to these features. There isn't much information about him or really the hoax itself, but it was clearly just another attempt to turn the Purple Guy into something creepier, while also trying to claim him as something which could be seen as a nightmare in FNAF 4. Yeah, not much really to say about that. It is kind of creepy at first glance, but after staring at it for a while, it kind of just looks like a clay model or something like that. I don't know, nothing really beats the OG purple guy animatronic for me, but talking about the purple guy animatronic, let's take a look at another hoax featured in FNAF 2, that being Red Eyes. Red Eyes is a hoax image that shows a obviously fake black creature with red eyes, along with it appearing on the monitors and even in the hallway, but that's not the scary part about this hoax. This one actually has some interesting lore behind it, because I don't actually know where these images came from. When I started researching for this video, I came across this image on the FNAF hoax wiki, and it was not found under any specific hoax, as I only found it by looking through the wiki's images. To try and find the source, I reverse searched the image, and a lot of things came up. Some pictures from the Roblox game It Lurks, where a character also looks similar to the one seen in the image. There was also another image of the character from the abandoned Discovery Island wiki, which is a fan-made remake of Five Nights at Treasure Island, and in the wiki, a character named Kilos can be seen that looks very similar to this hoax. There's a couple of more images that popped up after I reversed search the image, but these ones looked the closest to the hoax. But it gets even weirder though. When I tried to find the source, nothing came up. So where did this image come from? Was it inspired by the other games or is it the opposite? 
Frankly, I don't know and it's very creepy. And as I continue my search, I found another image on the hoax wiki, discovered the same way, with a poorly cropped image of what looks to be the FNAF 2 office with red glowing eyes in the darkness. Now what is this, where did this come from, and what came first? Well to be honest, I don't know, and I couldn't find anything about this hoax or even these images because they don't have a name attached to them. I just named them red eyes for this video, but yeah creepy because like where did these come from? Well we still have a couple of more on this list with the next one being Dark Springtrap in FNAF Ultimate Custom Night. This hoax is exactly what it sounds like but due to the disturbing imagery and forgotten nature of this hoax I'd have to say it's pretty disturbing. Around the time of Ultimate Custom Night's release a edited image of Springtrap's jump scare started the spread online and I'd have to say it looks really good. Not much information is known about this hoax as well but I'd assume that this hoax started off as a hidden character that can be seen during the night of Ultimate Custom Night, like how Fredbear is or how any of the animatronics DD spawns is are. Taking a look at the image, the first thing that catches my eye are the white cloudy eyes that Springtrap has, which look to either have red pupils or splots of blood on them. The excessive use of blood on this animatronic helps it appear more unnerving compared to others seen in the franchise because we usually don't see this level of blood on the characters. Other than those main things, the only other major feature is the fact that the suit is more of a less saturated green. I never knew about this one until making this video and personally now it's one of my favorites due to just how eerie it is. Now this is the one I've been waiting for as this one is the reason I made this entire video the entity. This hoax is pretty forgotten about, as the only mention of this hoax was on a reddit post made 3 years ago, in which the user shows off a supposedly real image of this hoax, along with a render made by Ram Troopy of this animatronic. The OP said, quote, an old hoax back when Glitchtrap wasn't discovered and was only mentioned by Tape Girl. So someone made a hoax which was the Nightmare Foxy costume behind presumably the FNAF 1 window. It is not that known since the creator revealed it was a hoax a few days later. Well that kind of explains it for me, unfortunately I couldn't find a better image of this hoax but the image provided is really disturbing. If I didn't know that was a mask I wouldn't have even been able to begin what that possibly could be. I think the creepiest thing about this hoax is just the eyes, they are just staring into my soul. Mixing that with the fact it looks like it has a bottom row of human teeth just really unsettles me. Even though this is a really low quality image it's just really really creepy for some reason. I don't know if it's just because of how uncanny it is or what it is but I don't, I don't like this. Anyways, we do have an honorable mention before we get to the last one, and that is the FNAF 2 Stingray Virus. As a quick summary, this is a virus that when activated will hack your phone, allowing a random hacker to steal all of your personal information and so on. This hoax has started to get very popular within recent time due to the creepy things that will happen while you're playing the game, along with the whole hacking part as well. I'd also like to note that apparently this might not be a hoax after all, as some people have claimed to play this game before and have seen it before. But if you want more information on this quote unquote supposed hoax, you can watch this full video that I made about it right here. But it's finally time to get to the last one, which is what obviously Golden Balloon Boy. I mean, just look at how creepy it is. 